Welcome to chart of the day. Today we are looking at the pound against the US dollar. It's one of the biggest currency pairs out there and it's been about seven months since Brexit finally happened. The UK left the European Union. There was a lot of hype around this currency pairs price but where has it got to now? I'm going to have a look at the technicals and see where it has been and where it could be going. Hello I'm Stephen Hode trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading and trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk so be very careful so with that out the way let's get on with the analysis so let's get straight into the analysis on the pound against the dollar we've got a weekly line chart here very simplified a few Fibonacci lines to give us some ideas of where we're at at with key levels you know for support and resistance purposes now you can see 2021 start of was the key um, brexit breakaway point and since then you know, the pound has traveled up to highs of 1.425 and since getting to those highs which the last seen in may of um, 2018 it started to retrace back and there seems to be a lot of support noise around the 1.368 area but really the pound has been quite strong since you know the first quarter of 2020 coming back from lows of you know nearly you know 1.15 you know they were 1.16 and progressing very strongly up to the 1.4s building a bit of a consolidation pattern up there at the moment so key levels to take away from here 1.368 round up to 1.37 you know, for possible support or a breakdown to that key 61.8 um, Fibonacci line at 1.32 and to the upside where we got to test those highs first of 1.425 before it could think about going any further. Now onto the Heiken Ashi chart. It's a daily chart. It's the usual indicators. I don't change anything in these videos. You know, we've got our I suppose timing tools down the bottom we got our 200 moving average we got our breakout system on top of the price and currently what's going on the price is sitting above the 200 moving average so supporting the longer term trend in the short term signals are weak bearish to neutral uh, we've had the breakdown out of the box um, in late June and it seems to be consolidating around that 1.3 8-ish area with a lot of sort of historic noise in the price around that zone. So currently Heiken Ashi chart showing, daily chart showing a pretty neutral picture in a longer term bullish um, setup. So coming on to the Renko chart, uh, I've been quite aggressive with the block size 0.002. It's all the usual indicators and tools, I don't change them in any of the videos they stay the same to give us a more consistent um, technical analysis picture of what we're analyzing and really I suppose the takeaway from this chart is actually the pound since you know February of this year hasn't really gone anywhere it's been between 1.42 and 1.37 ranging there has been short-term opportunities to trade it this is what the Renko setup here helps me do but in the short term we're looking at sort of a bearish picture it's come off from those highs of 1.42 and it's been bouncing around in tighter and tighter ranges and currently the indicators are all to the negative but you know that's down near towards that support zone of 1.37 so we'll see what happens so takeaway from this um, chart actually it's weak bearish in a longer term bullish um, environment so let's summarize things then overall in the short term weak bearish it's got a feel about it all the signals currently indicating more bearishness it's been in the longer term uptrend but really the shorter term 
weaker bearish situation holds there's some good risk reward to both the up and the downside but the downside just edges it so there you have it post brexit it had a bit of upside it's retraced back and really it's gone nowhere for the whole year if you have any opinions on the pound against the US dollar put them in the comments below do you think the analysis is right wrong how do you trade it have you had any success trading it any stories to tell us again put in the comments below if you'd like to learn anything more about the technical analysis I use I'll put some links in the description below for you to follow if you've liked today's video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification on content such as this and other stuff I produce and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video